Hello and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, our Democratic Brazil run. In the last episode, we've got a few fronts going here. Uh, we have some Brazilian troops working on the North Africa front, trying to push back the Vichy French now that they have entered the war. We also have some garrisons around Egypt, just kind of where we're stacking up troops that we're waiting uh, to send in when we have a good front to send them to. And then we have seven divisions who are holding this front in Greece. We've been pushing them back slowly, but it's a pretty solid force that mostly Germans, some Italians have in place there. So because there's a lot of mountains, not a lot of infrastructure, we don't want our unit concentration to get too high. So we've been taking that one a little more cautiously. In the air, um, we're training our fighters back up. They took some heavy losses over Greece, facing some superior German fighters. Um, we've got two fighter squadrons and a close air support squadron working on building more. So let's get this close air support going over the Eastern Maghreb. And where's our other fighter squadron right here? These guys are still training up. I don't wanna send them into battle as rookies. That will just lead to them getting shredded in the air. And I don't wanna lose the planes. Not sure why our need for reinforcement is at 7,200 for infantry equipment because we have uh, almost 40,000 to spare. Artillery is ticking down a little bit, but that is because we just switched over to advanced artillery and our production efficiency isn't what it once was. Looks like we'll need some more support equipment. So where I'll pull some tanks off and start to boost support equipment production. We need more aluminum. We'll get that from the US. They've got plenty, they're close by and they're a friend. I don't wanna be giving uh, my enemies any free civilian factories. So this line looks like it's gonna to be tough to breach. They're just stacked up really high in every province here. I'm considering doing strategic bombers going hard on the air war and trying to uh, just wear down their industry. We've got a citation we can grant here. Um, Order of the Lion is interesting. We'll keep our experience high. Uh, division recovery rate could be interesting, but I think supply consumption is where I want to be because we are, we're gonna be in some heavily stacked up provinces here in Greece until we open another front at least. And we're also attacking, so let's make sure we, oh, our aggression is all the way down. Interesting. No, I want you attacking this one. This is where, this is where we've got a shot. And these divisions, if you haven't watched the past, this is a 42 width template with Four artillery and one medium tank to boost our um, armor rating. Keep those divisions from getting pierced. That should help us stay alive a little longer. Now we are caught up on um, industry tax other than the oil branch. Just looking at where, where we can really be effective in spending these tax. Navy, I think we've got the naval war in the bag, honestly. I don't think anyone's really going to challenge us. We could boost our medium tanks. Maybe some of our support companies would be helpful. So there we go. We're, we're on the defensive now. But that's going to be to our advantage. We'll just let them start to... Uh, well, where are we getting? We've got naval landings everywhere. So what I'm going to do is actually take a couple of these divisions off the front line. I'll actually take these two that are already in the back and just use them to fight off this naval invasion when they hit land. From a distance, the Mexican and Italian flags look awfully close. Oh, here we go. We accidentally found the naval invasion. That works, though. We found it and stopped it. Where else? Are they attacking Ireland? I don't really... I don't see an attack in Ireland. I wonder why we've got that flag up. And then for even more of this, um, I think we've got to go Marines. I think that's what we need to um, do some of these amphibious assaults that we'll, we'll have to pull off. Now, one thing that's tough here is just our 
uh, whole supply situation. I wonder if I should actually build a port. Let's kick these to the top of the list. How long will that take? January 1st? Not too long. But as long as we're making progress, they should be in bad shape also. And I think we can push them out. There we go. Getting to the coast. I want to capture one of these ports. We had a general get wounded. Lost a sub. We haven't lost subs in a while. That is a pretty solid German fleet we found. And I want to make sure that these guys are actually going to engage. I'm wondering if as a strike force, if they're... Uh, Calling that engagement high risk because the German fleet is so much more powerful than they are. There we go. Let's get up here and take Bizzardi. Because when we take that, now we can get some supply coming in. And that should help all of our troops in this region. Good, we've got some French helping us too. So when we have to attack being weak, it won't be just us. All right, and that... Pretty much solves our supply problem. Let's cancel that second port. Uh, now we can turn west. So let's get this plan going. And our troops will then start to file over, get ready to move west. And it looks like the Axis has been kicked out of uh, the Middle East mostly. Just hanging on in Lebanon there. But now Iran has joined the Axis. Um, this is bad for two reasons. One, because it's someone else fighting the Soviets. But that's going to put the Axis potentially on our eastern border. Um, and if we don't, if Iraq goes poorly, I know in some games I've seen Iraq go Axis. And if they go Axis, that's going to give them a back door into the Middle East. We also have the Soviet Union not doing that well against the Germans. So if they have to, you know, uh, send even a few... what What is Stabilizer? So that increases our breakthrough. That'll be good for us, actually. Throw that on some tanks. And if the Soviets start having to throw divisions at Iran, I don't know how many they already have on that border. That's going to make things rough on us. Um because it'll make it easier for the Germans to push through. It'll be important we keep this southern front up. And, man, any way to push through. I'm just not seeing it. We'll have to do a naval invasion somewhere to open up another front. I'm being a little wary around my manpower now. Um, let's see. We're at 250,000, but with our laws, we're at extensive conscription. And if we go up to service by requirement, we start losing some output. We're at total mobilization. Um, gives us really good military factory construction speed, lowers our consumer goods factories, but we lose 3% recruitable population. So that's, we might actually want to go away from that at some point. We're doing air production right now for our focus. Um, trying to get our uh, planes maxed out. We want to have new upgraded fighters. So let's just keep this air superiority going here. How are these planes doing? Oh, I can actually move these guys up. Get them closer to the action. And you're going to be doing air superiority here. Got you guys on close air support. What do we have going on? More subs we're losing. Or, uh, no, it was just British transports, not our subs. Still, though, we've got to do something about this British fleet. I wonder, what does that range look like? I don't think my close air support can hit them from the British mainland. All right, let's kick off this assault with our troops uh, on the west. I'm going to send this division right into Algiers, take that port. 
make sure we're not getting backdoored in Greece here. Invading the coast behind us. Did we get pushed back? Let's go. I think we can push into this province and make it. We've got enough troops here. Although they have enough too. So this could be could get difficult. We got a few divisions to route, but not enough. I'm going to pause this assault. Maybe my guys will reset along that frontier. And we've got to start importing some more oil. Keep it coming from the U.S. Are we exporting all of our rubber? Yeah, we are. And that's tough. That's really the only um, resource we could reasonably export. We'll keep going with wolf packs. Keep those subs going since they're our most effective naval asset. And we almost have this battle for North Africa won. We've got a lot of naval invasions we're getting alerts for in the Pacific Theater. Look at the Australians reinvading Papua New Guinea. It's tough to tell exactly how this is going because there are so many battles going on in different places. The Japanese are being pushed out of Yunnan though and haven't pushed it too far in Eastern China. So that's a good sign at least. There we go, took out a British or a German transport. And if the Brits can capture Nice here, that's gonna be big. I'm just gonna go straight to the coast. I think my troops are gonna be powerful enough to push through. Let's get some anti-tank weaponry going for our infantry, since they will be facing down some German tanks. And we need more steel now. We're running a little low on civilian factories, it would be nice to conquer some. There we go, now we've got more troops attacking here. Wonder if there's a chance if I might encircle these guys. Probably not. These invasions in Greece are making me nervous. So how is the situation in the air looking here? I'm going to send my cast back and have them work on logistics. Maybe that'll bleed them dry of trucks and uh, cause some attrition. So we got 1943 now. I'm going to go with streamlined line because um, we tend not to switch production up too much. Anyone good to add here? Elusive Gentleman, not sold on it. Just throw a tank designer on. That'll be good for us. More air superiority, more agility for our cast to keep them alive. And more British transports going down. Not great to see. I'm going to check in on this air war here. How are things looking for us? We lost seven fighters and three supports. Shot down four fighters. Bombed some troops. Took out some trucks. Our air defense is lower than their attack. I wonder if they're using heavy fighters or something. Because we do have better agility. And I don't know how to improve air defense for a light fighter. I thought that was just kind of what you what you got with the airframe. Unless you throw defense turrets on it, but I can't imagine that would be helpful at all. Hmm. Base stability. I'm going to take the base stability. More popularity for fascism and communism. But I think that's a risk I have to take. Sank some transports, but did lose 
a sub. This battle stable it is just really grinding up here. Look at these, the Germans lost 20,000 guys in one attack. And pretty common for them to lose a few thousand, and we lose very few. It's just a Romanian infantry division. I think we can take it, especially if some of our friends jump in and help. We're not much help to those convoys. Our fuel is full. Oh, we could add a trait here. Let's do that. Smoke screen. I don't love it, but it will keep our fleets alive. And let's upgrade these Marines. Now, I'm thinking about putting this ship on escort duty. Wonder how that's gonna go. We're detaching some ships to repair because we had a lot of them who were beat up. Hopefully they'll rejoin the action soon. All right, good, we've split them in half. Unfortunately, this means that um, we're still far away from logistics. They still have the one port on this side. The French scuttled their fleet. Good, we'll push into the coast here and then try to roll up these Romanian units. Keep working down this tree. Get some better recovery and organization. And we're still just absorbing these Axis attacks in Greece. Doesn't look like they've moved too much further into the Soviet Union, but the Soviets can collapse quickly. How's my naval escort doing? Still repairing some more, but we got some more of our cruisers and destroyers back, so that's good to have them back in action. I don't know if I want to go with some fast divisions, go with our... Um, Motorized rocket artillery, some motorized infantry. I think I'm pretty happy with the setups we've got now. So they are holed up in Casablanca. Nothing... Nothing too interesting going on there. I'm going to build a port, um, try to get some supplies in there. Where are my troops? We should have a few divisions coming down here to attack this single Romanian holdout. There we go. One of these units crumbled, and now they've been overrun. How are my planes doing? I want to make sure I'm not losing too many fighters or close air support. We're still losing a lot of fighters in air battle. It's about even though. I'd like to see that lower. Um, as soon as I decide on this next tech, I'm gonna take a look at it and make sure we're not having issues where, well, gotta switch that out. Um, we're losing more than we can produce. Uh, make sure we're swapping them out with new fighters that will be better suited and make sure our experience isn't ticking down too much those are all things that will get us in trouble so our experience is dropping in Greece um, thinking about what might help more get the numbers a little in our favor I mean another hundred fighters should should be a positive we're about evenly matched in terms of numbers Let's see what they've got. A lot of older Italian stuff. Does it see what... Yeah, you know, we got a... And then a bunch from Britain, Canada, and the US. So those should be some solid fighters. 
I just don't know how well we could hold out against that the top of the line German stuff. Air superiority plus 20%. I think that's absolutely what we need right now. And we lost four destroyers trying to go up against the German fleet. So what am I building now? Subs? I might need to switch back to destroyers soon. Yeah, I've got 21 subs. So I'm going to make that my last sub. And after that sub gets built, I'll flip back to destroyers. Let's see what happens if we launch an all-out assault here. Nothing good. Lots of casualties. And they're pushing hard into Greece, but we're holding. That is a lot of troops they have concentrated here. They have uh, some bicycle infantry from the Italians. New division here. We'll put them in our reserves. Missing equipment production. Let's take a look at all this. Carrier fighters. I wonder why. Wonder if we burned through all of our reserves for fighters and we're now digging into the carrier fighters. Let's take a look at this destroyer design. Make sure we've got the best stuff that we have. Um, not that it's great. Yeah, this is the most updated stuff I've got. I'm gonna click that down to just one. All right, so yeah, we can't stand up to the German fleet at all. Let's look at our fighters. See what we have. So we have very little stored here. We're burning through our reserves in Greece. I'm going to flip these just to interception. And I'm going to stop the close air support. Maybe we'll see if we can do anything in the North Sea. And with that done, should keep our fighter losses down. There we go. See if we can do any naval strikes in the North Sea. Help us out with the naval battles. You'd hope that with the whole British fleet right there, they'd hop into some of these battles, but I guess not. So what do we have? How's that port coming? Halfway. Let's send everybody. If we can get one of these divisions to break, they've got nowhere to go. They'll disintegrate. Do we have air cover? We should have air cover on some of these. We lost two subs. There we go. We got a few divisions down. Looks like we're going to make it. We will push them out of North Africa. And now we've got anti-tank stuff for our infantry. Um, let's go with the night vision. I think we're going to keep fighting all day, so having the night vision will help. There we go. The Axis has been kicked out of North Africa, and the Brits are now pushing in northern Italy, or southern Italy. So that's another front. Um, and if we get a big, wide front, like I'm just picturing uh, Operation Overlord style, where we have a solid line of troops here. We can throw a lot of divisions at them. Really start to push the Axis back. How's the Iranian front doing? So the Soviets are winning. Um, I don't think beating the Iranians will do much for them, though. Uh, other than being able to move those troops to another front. The only resources Iran has is oil, and the Soviets should have plenty of that. Here we go. We lost two tra uh, two subs, but took down three transports. Not a great ratio. So I'm going to send these guys to my uh, garrison in the Middle East. So 
that leaves us with three division three armies we have our middle east garrison we have our greek army and then the army back in brazil now this garrison these are all 24 with infantry so i'm gonna flip them over to our uh, armored get them ready make them a little tougher we're still holding still doing a ridiculous amount of casualties we've lost 207,000 guys mostly fighting the Germans let's see how the Germans are looking they've lost almost 8 million we've killed almost 200,000 of them 200,000 Italians 12,000 Bulgarians and 38,000 Romanians I think we're in good shape attrition wise but this is still just a tough fight I think we've got to start looking at field hospitals I know manpower is one of our strengths but I want to keep that experience I don't want to lose that um As, we're, as we take losses in this campaign. How's my production looking? I wonder why it's stuck on 7,000 that we need for reinforcement. That's just weird. We're upgrading our artillery. Good. Fighters could use some more upgrades. Have a really solid number of tanks. Good close air support. Our uh, support equipment's ticking back up. Get a lot of trucks. I think we're in good position with everything. Um, we're increasing our number of fighters since we stopped doing air superiority and are just doing interception. We lost 12 in accidents, but we shot down a bunch of their fighters. So let's take a look at a marine division here. We have, let's see, probably want to go with a 20 width because we're going to be in I don't know why I'm doing Marines I want it, artillery always engineer support artillery logistics will be helpful for breakthrough and reducing supply usage especially when we're on um, beaches I'm going to go 20 I'm going to go with a 7-2 let's go with this loadout and let's save this so how many marine divisions can we do let's just do our five marine divisions got them lining up throw them in southern brazil wait for them to train Should be solid on equipment for them yeah that knocked our manpower down a bit we're gonna have to watch that one um don't want tactical bombers naval missions ground support is gonna be the next one for us i'm just gonna let this grind out here though it looks like we might have a chance to break through because their organization is low Probably from attacking us constantly. When this attack against us fails, I'm going to try to push back. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to go anywhere. Still have 168,000 manpower, but I want to watch that. I don't want to lose sight and run out. Um, with our next one, just looking at components here. What is the ballistic? Okay, so that is for ships. Mechanical range keeper, director fire. 
probably want to go up this radar route a little bit so that we have some of that tech for our planes. How's everything else looking? Nothing too much going on. I, I think the Soviets lost a little more ground to the Germans. Um, might be stalling out against Iran. How about the Pacific Theater? Free France, who somehow popped out in Vietnam. Um, Americans are holding their islands. Looks like they're consolidating in New Guinea. And we're just holding out in Greece. So while we're doing that, let's take a look at some flame tanks. I've never built flame tanks. I've seen a lot of people talk about them on Reddit or whatnot. let's start with a flamethrower so we can use the flame support company roll get five soft attack lowers our reliability Do you want a light fixed superstructure improves our reliability but lowers our breakthrough um we could go with a one-man turret to make it lighter and the radio course for the breakthrough and defense reliability is still good um let's see auto loader auto loader could be good secondary turret do we want a machine gun yeah probably what makes the flamethrower so good We've already got our auto loader. Um, maybe sloped armor. Just to increase the armor of our unit a little bit. Give us some decent um, armor. Now, the petrol electric could be interesting. I think we'll stick with gas. Maybe the road wheels for more breakthrough. Have a good design here. These all look pretty similar. We'll just call this a flame tank. And I'll put one factory on it. So in my other template where I have tanks. Maybe I'll duplicate this and try a flame tank. way up so we'll see what we come back to we got any fire symbols anything like that go with the I don't know is that a firefly so now I thought we could do the flame tank support company But maybe not. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Got one flame tank. So we are getting the low manpower alert now. It's not going to affect us yet, but it will. thinking about tack bombers or maybe lar the heavy bombers but it's 1943 and just the time we would need to get something like that in place I don't know if it's doable work on our anti-tank stuff a little bit 
uh, make sure we can penetrate anything that, excuse me, the Germans throw at us. Looks like we've had some moderate success here and have been moderately pushed back. Let's reclaim this territory right away. And maybe this, these Greeks would help us out a little. That would be very nice of them. There we go. We've got some good troops in this location. Once we beat back this attack, we can start to advance. That was a pretty solid attack we're facing from uh, just three divisions. Actually, not too bad. Oh, thought we had a chance there. We're just facing constant attacks. The good news is that if they keep attacking the, us like this, that their organization is going to be low when we actually do get the chance to attack them. They are really pushing, though. And we do have atta an attack in southern Greece. But it looks like with the various allied forces there, they'll, they'll hold out. How's everything else looking? Oh, we can uh, add a treat here. Infantry expert's great, because you just have tons of infantry in every one of those. Throw out as an infantry specialist. Maybe be able to use that a bit later. Okay, so the Brits have started attacking Iran from India. How's this fight going? Good. It's a cavalry division and an Italian infantry division against an American and Greek division. Shouldn't be a problem. One of our divisions is finally worn out from holding off I don't know how many Axis attackers there. We have some very highly experienced troops here. Reached the seasoned level and closing in on five, which I don't, I'm not sure what that is. Is that elite or something? Oh, some Hungarian armor. You don't see that very often where the Axis start using some really uh, solid amounts of armor. How are our planes looking? All right, so we're... We're starting to get some more um, of the older fighters out of the field. Let's see what's actually in this wing. So we just have fighter three and, and a few fighter twos. Not bad. Wow, how did I get out there? I think I'm gonna bring my cast back to Greece. Get them fighting on this front. Do not want them on close air support. We'll get them on logistics. Or do want them on close air support. We don't want them on air superiority. Down to 148,000 of uh, manpower here. How are we doing on flame tanks? Oh, we've actually got some British flame tanks, maybe? That could even just be however they designated it. That might be entirely different. What do we got here? Naval mission efficiency. I uh, just got to use it to get to the rest of the tree. Our Marine Corps is getting close. They'll be ready in November. They'll deploy in November. And then from there, we need to train them up. Because I'm not going to send them in... Uh, just fresh out of basic. So how are things going? Let's get these guys on air superiority. Let's see if we can take back the skies here. We're still facing just a ton of Axis fighters, but they're losing many more than we are. Our troops are getting bombed, though. So are theirs. Um, losing some cast, but that's going to happen. We just want to make sure we're wearing them down and they're taking more losses than we are. Our industrial capacity is good. 
uh, at, what are we, 57 factories? But it's not great. We don't have that basically unlimited capacity that some of the other countries have. It can throw improved radios uh, in with that tech. So I'm going to go for that. This just gives us some nice soft attack and hard attack bonuses for our regular infantry and artillery. Um, that's really valuable because it applies to almost everyone. So I will go with that doctrine next. Once our Marines are ready, then I think I'm going to plan for, you know, let's, let's do some spy stuff. We've got an, uh, excuse me, we've got an attempted overlord over here. Let's start building up a spy network. Um, yeah, let's put her in Roma so that we can hopefully start to see some of what's going on in Italy and plan that attack a little better. Oh, and we have a naval invasion here with the Brits taking part of Yugoslavia. I'm going to be a little cautious. I don't want to throw all of my troops into this attack, but I don't want to hold back too much either. Let's see if we have any great field commanders. Yeah, this guy's got 600 um, experience. Let's give him this new army. And the great thing about um, this is we've got some good ports. So hopefully with these units being close by, we'll get there quick. Iceland, welcome. Do you even have any troops? Doesn't look like it. Uh-oh. So they are getting separated a bit now. Got a plan for where I'm going to throw my troops. Um, I'm going to put them in this pocket and try to push out. Where are you going? Couldn't see them for a little while, got nervous. But once our troops land, um, they're just some solid divisions, so that should shore up the defense quite a bit. We lost the one beachhead, glad I did go for that one. Here we go. All right, where are these attacks coming from? Let's send these um, better divisions over to the Middle Eastern garrison. And let's get some of these switched over to a new template. And once they're ready, we will train them up, get them ready to ship out. All right, so priorities here. Number one, we have to hold these um, ports. Where are all of my divisions? Oh, one hasn't arrived yet. All right, Liberia, welcome to the club. I'm a little nervous with the amount of attacks we're facing that we won't be able to hold out. Did we get through? No. This is kind of bad. Um, maybe throw a spy up here and start to build a network a little bit. See if we can tell what's going on. Get some bonuses. I'll send them back to Dubrovnik. And then once these attacks end, I'm going to try to take 
whatever this province is over here. Who is that? Is that my Marines? Here we go. Oh, we actually need a new army group for the Marines. He's assigned. So who should we promote? Let's go with this guy. So he's going to be a field marshal now. We'll throw this general over here. We need offensive doctrine. And we need charismatic to recover. But who's our commander here? We don't have enough command power for it. Okay, so we got to save up some command power. But we're getting there. And where should I put them? I'll put them in North Africa while we're waiting for the command power. We need to have, looks like, 30 command power to get that promotion. Daily gains only 0.9, so it'll take us, what, 20 days? Got all excited about my Marines. Lost track of this battle up here. Wonder if anyone else is going to join this attack and help out. There we go. We got uh, finished some construction. And now we can start building more factories. Looks like we're making progress here. Though this does not look good. What do we have in Dalmatia? I don't know if I can even evacuate anybody. We might have just lost a bunch of divisions. Oh yeah, no way we're retaking this. We'll throw these guys back to the uh, garrison army, maybe. But I don't know if they'll make it. They're probably gonna get smoked sitting on that island. So what else? What else is gonna help me at this point in the war? Improved tanks, probably pushing toward modern tanks though i've read a lot of people don't actually use modern tanks so maybe that won't help much we have a lot of casts so i'm gonna deploy another wing and uh just get them training up get them ready where is it here we go And do I have everyone? Oh, we can actually... We have a new close air support and... Oh, why are we even building this? So what's next? We could go for some improved engines here. I wonder why this isn't reinforcing like it should. There we go. We've got 300 of these. How's the air war going in Greece? Okay. We're losing some fighters, but we're doing a lot of damage. Oh, and our uh, manpower is getting low. Definitely use that. How close are we to building that port? Not very. 
at all. Looks like these guys are about cooked. Yep. And that's been our, our only big losses this war have been getting units surrounded like that. We get too excited, try to help the Brits on some ill-conceived naval invasion. And then our entire army gets captured. But let's push here. These guys are in rough shape supply-wise. I think if we keep up a solid attack and maybe our friends help us a bit, we can make a move. now we do have a general here that we can use are you the same guy no same portrait did not notice they all have the same portrait so because they're moving looks like their training isn't uh, working right now but once they're in place, we'll get them sorted out. We got some good troops holding off against this naval invasion. Um, let's see. Let's get everyone here. Where are you guys? Okay. Let's get everyone here converted to the medium armor template. Music just stopped, went really quiet. It feels weird. All right. So we'll get them converted over to the new template and uh, get them training. Let's train these guys as well. How are we doing for infantry equipment? Plus 56,000. So we're in good shape. Got a lot of tanks, solid amount of fighters. I'm a little worried about the British just running out of manpower from these dumb naval invasions they're doing. But once we get to 150, then I will um, switch my mobilization law. Turkey joins the Allies. Good. We needed something like that. Now they're going to have to empty this front a little. Push. They're going to have to send guys away from this front to hold off the Turks. Sending one more division to reinforce here. And they're nice and fresh. Now we can start to make some progress. These guys are recovering nicely. We'll send them in as more backup. So things look like they're going well on that front. What's next? What's the next thing I should start to work on? Some transport planes would be helpful um, just from a uh, perspective being able to supply my troops but I could always build more artillery um, and keep that getting upgraded this attack's going a little slower than I would have hoped because it looks like they keep sending in more reinforcements And what can I do here? Here we go. Eh, improving our interception. It's not great. It's still helpful. Ah, here we go. So I'm going to relocate this army to Britain. And then my Mediterranean army, uh, that's just sitting tight. They are going to get relocated to 
I'm going to send them all into... No, you no, know what? I'm going to train them first. Send them to the UK to train. We'll move everyone up there. Start building up that attack force. Because this is what I've been waiting for, being able to deploy a lot of troops um, in mainland Europe. How big is my army right now? 400,000, so not huge. And on that note, I will relocate my spies. Get one going in France here. Um, maybe one in, in the Denmark area. Start to see what's going on there. And we've got a lot of infrastructure, a lot of supply. So we can support a pretty solid number of troops. How does our naval superiority look? With the Americans and the British, I would think that we should have basically unlimited naval superiority. Oh, they're still also garrisoning here, so I gotta make sure they go over. That was just a dumb mistake. Turks are holding out. I really don't want to see them get backed up, though. That would be a problem. They still look solid. This is not going to be an easy line to push through. Am I holding out in the air? I'm losing a lot of fighters. Not having a lot of success. So I'm once again going to pause my um, air operations. Just go interception only to keep their bombers off my guys, but not, not anything more. So this really is going to be my um western europe theater so i'll shift him to this this other army why are you a generic portrait we will motorize these heavily and what else do i have here Let's go with the uh, combined ops rating since that's what we'll be most likely to do. Oh yeah, we'll send this division to Europe. Not sure what they're going to do. Do I want to keep pushing on... Yeah, let's, let's try out rocket artillery. Maybe throw that on a division later on. Yeah, now we need to go to war economy. Back off total mobilization. And then we'll get up to 5% uh, recruitable pop. So we've got these guys training up our Marines. Luxembourg capitulated, though I'm pretty sure they uncapitulated not long ago. And... I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to send all my troops onto this line because we've got to hold. There's few enough Germans here that I think having my troops there can make a difference. What am I missing? Carrier fighters. And then let's plan. So I think I'm gonna try to 
cut out this Rhineland here. That's going to be my first goal. It's a big one, but we've got a lot of support from allies too. It is 1944. So that opens up a lot of text we can start working on. And where would be a good spot for a naval invasion? Because I want to throw them off. I don't know yet. You know, maybe, um, Calais looks to be too close, uh, too tightly defended. You go historical here and, um, aim for this Normandy coast. I think there's a, a solid reason to do that. It's a little lighter defended. We've got two ports right in a row. So let's go for that. And with that, I'm going to create a new army to back them up. Um, we'll need to train these guys up, get them set. Because they're not, they're not ready. They haven't been training too much. They're an old template, but we'll get there. And I think, yeah, I think with these solid divisions we have, we're facing off against some regular German infantry, it looks like. I'm going to launch the attack. Um, maybe I should go for some large airframes. Yeah, why not? Try it out. So we've got our new engines now, so we, we can upgrade our fighters going to throw engine four in it um which makes it a lot faster and let's see it would decrease our agility but add a lot of attack but what if i add more heavy machine guns let's go for that and that's going to be a very solid plane for us than the cast. Let's see how that looks. So we upgrade our engine here. Adds a lot more speed. Um, so how do we look right now? Ground attack is 12. If we throw cannons on it, ground attack is still 12. So I'm not going to do that. Thought cannons helped with ground attack, but I guess not. Oh, on logistic strike. Got it. Cast. Anti tank cannon, maybe? Yeah, let's throw an anti tank cannon on it. It's still very fast. Dive brakes. Improves air defense. So that'll keep them alive. I like it. Um, electronics, that's all strategic. Maybe we'll double up the, uh, oh, let's throw a defense turret on it. See how that looks. Lowers our agility, but I think it's worth it. These will be very nice to have. All right, and our troops are making progress already. I can see it, so that's great. These divisions are going to need some time to get ready. Um, once they even get to the UK, just making sure Greece is holding on. That's going to be—that's a secondary focus for me right now. Thought I had another cast getting set up. 
There we go. We've actually got some of the advanced casts working their way into those wings now. How close are these guys to ready? 20 more days. And I think that's going to be where we'll call it for today's video. I want to see how this invasion goes. And then uh, we'll stop there. I've got high hopes for it. It looks like a good spot. The Germans are seem weak. They don't seem to have great defenses anywhere else that we're probing right now. Um, so if we can push them back there, I imagine we can push them back lots of places. Oh, we've got a couple new divisions arriving um, for our main force in the Benelux right now. It'll be good for them to get there, get set up. We only have two divisions left in Brazil, so hopefully nothing goes wrong down there. Where are we at? 28 days, one week left. We have everybody here. We've got American, Irish, Canadian, Indian, British, Dutch, Belgian, and of course Brazilian. go with this next armor upgrade okay so this is just making up for trucks loss we're all set there for logistics nothing scary all right let's try this invasion let's see if I can actually make landfall Looks like Dieppe is going to succeed, but Laharve is not. All right, so. I'm going to send those divisions over to join this defensive Dieppe. Gonna work on the recovery rate because that's important. And all right, I was a little worried we were gonna lose these guys, but now it, it uh, connected with our main attack. So that'll help us hold out. Well, I think that is a good place to call it. We are working on the liberation of mainland Europe, uh, holding out in the Balkans, but help is on the way from the Benelux countries. Thanks again for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series and have a good one.